In this video, you'll learn about several strategies for retrieving relevant information in a research database. We'll cover how to search for a phrase, how to use Boolean operators to refine your search, and how to use wildcards and truncation to expand your search. What is phrase searching? When searching for a phrase, you're telling the database to bring you results in which your search terms appear together. For example, if you type the keywords climate change into a search box, you'll receive articles on the topic of climate change, but you'll also see results that contain only the word climate or only the word change. Because you're only interested in articles on the topic of climate change, you'll want to search this concept as a phrase. In most databases, you can add quotation marks around your phrase. Doing so tells the database to show only your results in which the search terms are adjacent to one another. Long story short, a phrase search will look like this, while a keyword search will look like this. Let's do a quick search so you can see the difference in the results. We'll start with a keyword search for climate science. I'll type the keywords into the first search box and click the green search button. You can see that I retrieved several relevant results, but that I also retrieved results that only use one of my keywords. Now, let's try a phrase search. I'm simply going to type the phrase climate science into the search box and make sure that I put quotation marks around it. This time, you can see that we retrieved fewer results, but that they all include the phrase climate science. How to use Boolean operators. Another strategy for refining your search results is to use Boolean operators. Sometimes called connectors, Boolean operators use the words and, or, and not to either broaden or narrow a search. And connects two or more concepts and tells the database to only retrieve results that include all of your search terms. For example, a search for climate change and legislation will only bring back items that contain both search terms and narrows down your results. When using OR, broadens your search results by bringing back items using either of your search terms. OR works best when used with like terms. For example, a search for climate change or global warming will bring back items that use either or both terms. Not narrows your search by excluding certain items. For instance, a search for dogs, not huskies, will exclude all husky-related items from your search. Now, let's try a quick search using the not operator. In the top search box, I'll type in Spitzbreed, and then I'll click on the green search button. You can see that we found 71 results, and if we scroll through, you'll notice that our results include several different types of Spitzbreed dogs. If I want to narrow my search down, I can do that using the not operator. In the drop-down menu, I'll choose not, and then I'll type in the word that I want to exclude from my search results. In this case, I'll type in the word Indian, and this will tell the database to bring me back all the results on Spitzbreeds with the exception of the Indian Spitz. Now if you scroll through the results, you can see that we have several of the same articles as we did in our previous search, but no articles on Indian Spitz breed dogs. How to use truncation. The last search strategy we talk about in this video is how to use truncation, sometimes referred to as wildcards, to expand your search. In many databases, you can add an asterisk at the end of your search term to replace a letter or group of letters. Doing this allows you to search several variations of a word. For example, if you search for psycho asterisk, you'll receive items using the words psychology, psychological, and psychosis, just to name a few. This strategy expands your search results and saves you the time of performing several different searches. One last search tip. Every database is different, so a strategy that works well in one might work completely differently in another. To learn more about the database you're using, go to the Help section. 
There you'll find the database's preferred truncation and wildcard symbols, along with explanations for how to use phrase searching and Boolean operators. If you still have questions or need more detailed information on all of these search strategies, you can take a look at the online searching principles and specifics libguide at the link below. Thanks for watching, and we hope this helped. To view other library how-to videos, please go to the Murphy Library YouTube channel to see all that we have available. Is there a video you'd like to see us make? Leave your suggestions in the comments below, or email at us at libinstruct at uwlax.edu.